What's up everyone, this is Talk is Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you three awesome tweaks that you can make to the Messages application. Now the reason I call them tweaks is because otherwise you would need a jailbreak to do this, but thankfully for this one really cool trick and two awesome series shortcuts, you're going to be able to make your Messages application go to the next level. Let's get started. So this one is really cool. So it's actually going to let you send a message to someone when you're really busy. So if someone sends you to text and you can't reply, your phone will automatically have a response that you can text them with. So what you're going to want to do is go to do not disturb. And then from here, make sure you scroll down and then you're going to want to tap on activate. Now, once you do this, make sure you select manually. Now, once you've done all of that, make sure you tap on auto reply and you want to go ahead and tap on all contacts. Once that's been done, go ahead and scroll down and then make sure you refill the auto reply with something that you would like to say. So for example, you should probably put in brackets automated message and then put what you want to say. For example, I'm just going to put, I cannot talk right now, basically. So what's going to happen is if somebody sends you a text message and you have this turned on, they're automatically going to get a response basically saying that you can't talk. So the way to activate this is you want to go to your control center settings and then go ahead and tap on do not disturb while driving. Now, we don't have to be driving to be doing this, which is pretty cool. Now, you guys may already know about this, which is why I have two really cool shortcuts later on in the video. But go to tap on this, and then if anybody texts you, they will get this message. So look at this. I send a message, and then boom, I can't talk right now. I'm not receiving notifications, blah, 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 blah. That uh, pretty much is automatic. So I just want to give a huge thanks to Apple Addict for giving me this idea to mention it in the video. All right, so this is a pretty cool series shortcut. So what this basically allows you to do is if you've ever wanted to send maybe an image to 10 different people at the same time, but you don't want to start a group chat, this is the shortcut for you. So click the link in the description and you're gonna have to open it up in Safari. But what you can do is tap on send text message to a group or send photos to a group. So I'm gonna be choosing text messages for this example. And you're gonna wanna type in the one phrase or paragraph that you would like to say. And it's gonna send to probably 10 different people, but it will not be in a group chat format. Typically you would have to send the message, copy and paste it, pick a contact, copy and paste it, pick a contact, copy and paste it and forever and until you reach all 10 people so I sent it to myself four times basically because I have myself in this device four times so you can see I just got that text message four times but that represents four different iPhones that it would be sending to so that's pretty cool this next one is to automate a text message now you do need to manually be involved in this it's kind of half automated half not go ahead and once you get past the beginning questions you can go ahead and answer them how you like you're gonna want to type in the contact that you want to send a message to and automate it then you're gonna want to type in the message you want to send and then the time you want to send it now what's going to happen is you're going to get a reminder on your phone to send that message and all you have to do is click on that reminder and then it will automatically open up the messages app and it will have your message pre-typed and ready to be sent now this has to to be limited in some ways because of Apple's security system. And I just want to mention, I believe I had do not disturb while driving turned on while making this video. So I did not get the notification, but when the time did reach the time I specified while setting this up, it worked. So go ahead and tap on the shortcut when you get the reminder or just tap on the reminder. And then you'll see that my message is in the text field. So you'll need to tap on the shortcut twice or tap on the shortcut and then the notification. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and as always, peace.